Good morning, Cyber Warriors. We're going to go over using PowerShell to create user accounts or set user accounts for multiple users all in one fell swoop. So, what I'm going to do is take a look at uh, how to create the string as we demonstrated in a previous video, depending on which order you're watching these. But uh, let's go ahead and do that again. So, first thing we want to do is create a variable password equals read post as a secure string. So P A S S W O R D one two three four, which is very secure and should never be used outside of Cyber Patriot. Seriously. Okay, so we need to take a look at the commands available to us. And what we're going to be using is the set local user ver uh, command in order to set the uh, the password on multiple different accounts. But first, we want to take a look at the different accounts that are there, and then isolate which ones we want to modify. So what we're going to do is we're going to get local user, and we're going to take a look at name. Enabled and description. Oh, first we need to actually enter the command to do that because otherwise it would just not work. Okay. Oop. Not enable. Singular, but enabled. There we go. All right. So we're going to take a look at. We want to change the password for all the accounts except for the student account, which is this is us, this is you. Don't muck with it, so we're not going to change that password. And we also generally don't want to change the password for utility accounts. So how do we exclude those two? Well, let's take a look. So get local user. And we're going to select objects for just the name. We're going to narrow down our pipeline. So what we want is, that's what that looks like. So what we want to do is actually have a condition in there where a name does not equal something. So we're going to tell it what to ignore. So where object name we're going to use a small array. We're doing more than one thing. So an array is a series of strings which could be converted into objects which PowerShell could use all in one fell swoop. So we're going to do not in, which is the, the argument you want for uh, an array. So we're going to have two items. We have an open and close parenthesis, and then we've got the different tick marks or single quote, depending on how you want to talk about it. These are single quotes, not double quotes. Double quotes will work just fine. But what we don't want is student, and double clicking on it selects it, right click will copy, and then we go over to where we want to paste, and right click will paste it once again. So we're going to double check, make sure this is what we want. All right, the administrator, default, guest, multar, tad, zorak, but no student and no default account for, well, actually not default, but the, the built-in account for Windows Defender. So we're going to go in and going to set local user. We're going to set the password and our variable for the password. Tab to autocomplete is your friend, honestly. Okay. Boom. Done. All done. One fell swoop. How do we know? We need to check. So how can we check? And get. 
get member shows us all the different options and available things that we have and we want to take a look at the password last set all right so we're going to go in local user select and we're going to do name and password last set that easy you see that everyone's password was set at 951 but not the student and not the Windows Defender utility account. So that is how you go through and you can create passwords and assign a password to multiple users and exclude specific users all on a single command. And that's all we've got for this particular video and I'll see you in the next video.